Hello and welcome. Uh, today I think we're going to get a lot of stuff done. Um, to start out with, uh, as you can see, I have done some work and I have made uh, kind of, I think last time we made this path um, or I had started working on it, but I am almost done. Um, I'm pretty happy with the way this pattern looks. It's a little kind of gray and boring. Maybe we'll replace this with um, diorite uh, instead, just to add a little bit more color. Um, but yeah, so we're over here. Um, almost done. I'm still not quite sure what I want to do with this stuff over here. Um, but we'll, we'll, we will get there. Um, and then here's our, our slime spawning platform. Um, right in the middle, I'm just going to finish off this row here. Um, and then we can get to our, uh, our day. Um, I have, I found a host of diamonds, um, but I didn't want to mine them until I got a fortune pick. Um, so that will be something we do. Um, but one of the things in order to get a, uh, a fortune, um, enchantment on our pickaxe is... Uh, we need some XP. You can see I'm at 23 uh, um, because I've been dropping like a couple levels worth um, on random tools uh, just to kind of speed up the mining process uh, while I mined out all this stone and stuff for this stuff. Um, but I think it would be really convenient and nice to build uh, a... Um, a XP farm. Um, I did find an uh, a uh, what am I trying to say? Oh, a uh, zombie uh, spawner. And I think it's like it's really low down, and I think it's like somewhere over here. Um, but uh, I think we can make a kind of a gravity zombie spawner uh, or zombie uh, XP farm. Uh, and uh, mine that, uh, and uh, have some have some good times. Um, let's see. And then, so once we do that, uh, I have a couple of pockets of diamonds we can mine out once we get a fortune pick, and really go to town. Um, let's see here. Ouch! Hang on, let me sleep. Um. I'm not getting shot at by errant skeletons all night. Oh, and I was trying to disable the uh, UI for the start there, and I accidentally took a screenshot. <laughs> Who's in charge now, sir? Suck it. Um, you know, one thing that I realized I haven't seen yet uh, either on camera or uh, while I was just trying to get everything figured out um, is I haven't seen a spider jockey uh, which I thought they were fairly common uh, but I guess not um, oh also last time we uh, built our farms down here and our chicken farm uh, which is kind of a sonic nightmare uh, we may have to relocate it at some point um, but, uh, let's go check on, uh, let's see what I've gotten done so far. Um, I've gone through about two stacks worth of, um, I should also put glass up. I've gone through about two stacks worth of, uh, sugar cane, um, making bookshelves for, uh, a, uh, enchanting room I have down one floor. Uh, and, um, so this thing is working just pretty good, um, and then the... Uh, pathway over to the uh, swamp uh, is using lit by jack-o'-lanterns and so I've used a couple stacks of jack-o'-lanterns and it looks like there's about 33 more this thing um, is not quite as efficient as would be optimal as you can see every time a chicken dies um, they drop a feather and a chicken I uh, you know uh, raw chicken and it seems like the lava is destroying like about two thirds of the chicken meats, um, and so 
Mm. Maybe not the most uh, efficient uh, food thing. Um, but that said, it does give us a decent amount. Um, enough for one uh, one sole survivor to survive on. Um, and then this is yeah the enchantment room. So I've used the sugar cane to make uh, paper for all of the books that I used in these guys um, because there isn't a village nearby. Um, but uh, I um, I have some still to go. Um, so uh probably be uh, taking down some cows and making more books um yeah it's really a, a kind of a bummer that there isn't a village around uh that you can just steal books from um but anyway so that's the library i think that's something i built and then yeah there's this guy which i don't remember if i prettied up oh we just got another one um during the uh, stream or not, but yeah, that's that's what it's looking like now. Um, man. Um, yeah, and then so yeah, um, back here is this, uh, and then uh, this is the back of the wiring for the chicken feeder. Pretty simple setup, uh, really. Um. Yeah, and let's see here. Yeah, so there's that wiring. I've added a little more diorite to make this nicer. Probably polish all of this up eventually at some point as well. Um, I think we've seen this before, but just to go over, kind of we set this up last time. A little uh, hopper timer that runs uh, this pumpkin farm and uh, it follows this torch chain up and runs the uh, sugarcane farm as well, which is working pretty good. Um, like I said, I might, I kind of like the openness because it also gives me a place to stand <laughs> um, when I'm down here, but it might be a good idea to, uh, oh, and there it is in, in practice. Um, it might be a good idea to put uh, some sugarcane in. Um, oh, and by the way, uh, I am now uh, have a little chat app uh, open so I can see you if you um, are are talking in the chat. Uh, I've from looking at the statistics, I'm mostly just talking to myself during these, um, which is something I expected to do because you know I talk to myself when I play anyway, so might as well record it. Um, but if you are watching and you have advice or a compliment or a criticism um feel free uh i have an eye on the chat and um i can set it up so that uh, i have it set up so that if that the chat becomes active uh, i can put it up on the stream as well um for uh fellow viewers to see what you said um across platforms uh, which would be good um yeah so yeah, so also, I think I talked about this last time, but I have this big platform out here so we can get more slimes, because um, I didn't want to cheat and uh, look up where a slime block is, <laughs> uh, or a slime chunk. Um, and I haven't happened to cross one naturally, uh, so yeah, so that's what that is. That's a, just making more spawnable space for slimes on the full moon. Yeah, and I don't know, maybe if we have time, I can figure out something to do with this because this is ugly. Uh, but I kind of like the sort of natural pond. Maybe I can do like a sort of na nature diorama thing in here. Um, you know, fill it up with glass here and you know, have like reeds and um, or you know, sugar cane and leaves and bushes and flowers and stuff. Time will tell. Alrighty. Let's see uh, what we're up to. So, what should I do first? Mm, it occurs to me now that I should have written down the coordinates of all those things that I wanted to find. <clears throat> Why don't we enjoy a quick advertisement 
uh, while I go figure those things out. Hang on, I'll be right back. And we're back. All right. Um, so I have those coordinates. Uh, let's see if we can figure a way to them. Um, so uh, let's see here. Here, let me move my notes over by the microphone so I'm not looking away from the microphone when I read them. Kind of parting the veil there for a second. Um, let's see. So let's see, where is it? It is at, oh here, let me sleep before I do this. I don't have to fight creatures while I'm trying to find the uh, uh, zombie spawner. Back to bed. Up and up and up and up and up and up and up.
Hello. Okay. Okay. So now, let's see. Where are we looking for? We are looking for... 12.05, negative 14, uh, 12. So it's here, and then this way a whole bunch. It is right. 12.05, negative 14, 12. So it is, it's not what I wanted. Wait, Faye, there, right there. Um, which is kind of handy. I think we can probably, um, the path is like a hundred blocks that way. Um, but we could probably have the path come over here. Um, and it's also at level 29. So it's 60 blocks or, or um, <clears throat> like 50 blocks down, uh, which kind of sucks. But it's right here. Um, cool. Uh, let me just clean up this area a little bit. And I'm going to need to make a new axe, it looks like, in the near future. Okay. Hmm. Oh, it's right here. Alright, let me go clean out the old inventory. And we'll see what we can do. Um, don't need that anymore. Um, one thing I'll mention that as I was looking at my uh, <laughs> screenshots is that I actually um, accidentally found the same patch of diamonds twice. Uh, <laughs> so we only have two patches of diamonds unfortunately um but that should provide us if we get a fortune three pick um with enough to last us for a little bit because we already have a decent amount here um while i'm here let me grab some some iron uh for making new materials uh new tools i mean let me drop off some things that i I'm not going to need uh, like all of this, especially the one lily pad. Um, also, I've been experiencing some strange lag spikes, uh, which I don't know if it's from because it's not when the piston cycle. It seems random, like right there. Um, I don't know if you could catch that on on your end. Um, but, you know, it seems somewhat random. Uh, but, yeah, and it's not like when this has a whole bunch of things to calculate. It just seems like maybe, um, my video RAM or something just gets full of calculations and has to hang out for a second. <laughs> but, anyway, we might try exploring, or I might try exploring how to, uh, uh, fix that. And I don't have any food. I'll just grab some of the steak. Um, all right. And do I have some wood? I have a, a modicum, but it's enough. All right. Let's, uh, so my plan is to figure out where that lines up with the path, actually. Um, and then kind of just build stairs. We can build a hole, you know, leading down to where it needs to be. So I am looking for 14, 14, 12. That's right here. 
but we can do this section here as the path down. Let's get digging. And I got really lucky on an enchant on this one and got unbreaking three, efficiency three, um, which has made mining a lot easier for the past uh, little bit. Dig down, I'm gonna dig down to level 29. Then across for a long ways, probably. Um, but I'm excited because we can make like a little fun path and stuff. Um, once we get this whole shenanigans built, um, I think I'm going to not do research on this and just assume that mobs behave the same way that they did in 2015, uh, which was the last time I played this game, apparently. <laughs> um, according to my the dates, or last time I took screenshots, anyway, was yeah, two years ago. Oh, and this is a problem. But not an unfixable problem. I do eventually hear a spider spawner. Let's just seal that on up. Because that's not what we're here for. You're skittering. Such a creepy, I'm not really an arachnophobe, but that is a very creepy sound. Like good, uh, whoever came up with that sound work did a very good job. Because it does kind of make your skin crawl. Oh gosh, as one of the poison buddies, isn't it? Oh no, it's one of the big guys. No problem. Man. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. Oh, not what I wanted to do. There we go. And down we go. Just another uh, 10 or so levels to go. Down to the surface, and yes, um, I'll probably do an entire stream of me exploring that uh, mine shaft at some point. And here we are, perfect. Actually, that <laughs> was like the perfect distance. Oh. I don't have to go light up all around here so we don't get any spawns, but get that gubbins off the screen if I can find this guy oh I hear a witch it's bad news probably means I'm not long for this world it's probably far enough away that that's actually not affecting um, spawns It's like I'm like right on top of it. Where are you? Can hear you. Uh -huh. it literally sounds like I'm like it's right above me or right below me. It's underneath. Where is it? Oh man, it's driving me nuts. I can hear him. There's the zombie. He was lower than I thought. Hey, buddy. Here, 
Where's this witch? That's a scary sound. Oh, I see her clipping through. Don't throw. Got her. That was scary for me. <laughs> so maybe it, I didn't convey it well, but that was very, very nerve wracking. I have to figure out where, how I get back to the honor. Up this. Uh, here we go. Okay. And then this is the way up to um, top here. Great. Okay. Well, get to work. Oh, I, apparently I didn't loot these chests when I found it. So, hey, there's a bunch of bones and stuff in here. A bunch of... And then we could get a horse and stuff and do some... Uh, some more deeper exploring, which is great news. And we got a golden record. And well, let me go back up and drop all this stuff off. Hello. But that's exciting. We finally, we did it. I think that's great that that's uh, kind of the perfect uh, distance. Um, how lucky is that? Uh, as the frame rate tanks and the chicken sound becomes horrific, oh, we're back home. Um, okay, let me open up my oh, open up. This just and drop off those things. That. And I don't really have like a rare items chest yet. Put it in here for now. Oh. Store gold in here. Goes in here. That. And there's that. Rail. I could do something with rail since we have so uh, such a giant mine shaft. Hmm, that's an idea. Uh, I'll put that in there. Let's drop off our various ores and things. That. And yeah, okay. Cool. Um I'm gonna just leave that there. Alright, let's let's hop to Uh I need to create some sort of building project right around where the spawner is so that I have a reason to spend the bunch of time nearby it <laughs> to get a bunch of zombies to spawn. Uh, let's see if I can remember um, the best way to take care of this stuff. Heard another zombie. Oh, and that's it for Torches. Or for my axe, I should say. There we go. And let's just mine out all of this good, good cobblestone. And cooking. So I think my plan. 
is to um, you know create a falling damage trap um, because I have found that those are well you know what I'm not really sure how many hit points zombies have anymore and the, the whole damage calculation there um, so it might be more wise for me to create a different kind of trap uh, like a suffocation trap or something my original thought was to move them all the way over to um, uh, that other um, to the path basically like up and over um, but I think that will cause them to despawn because that's, that's so far because um, you'd have to stand here and then walk all the way over there Hey, you got some new recipes from getting the mossy cobble. Be very careful around the spawner. Don't want to break it. here and I need to get water and the sound like this whole area up here this area up over here and down here gosh this is expansive sounds like oh hello oh. how do you like my shears <laughs> it's funny okay yeah like I said I'll probably go sweep through this whole giant expansive uh, mine shaft in an episode and probably die a whole bunch <laughs> Just light up the immediate area. Oh shit. Oh, problems. Problems. Well, I guess that's one way to do it. <laughs> oh gosh, another one? Man, there's like a million down here. Alright. Oh, and I'm out of torches. All right, time to head back to this way. It's so easy to get lost. Um. Well, oh, well, I found, found my weird securitist way back to where I wanted to be. Oh, and it's so dark that it's causing zombies to spawn. Perfect. So, I think we need this at least um, down to here, right? So that they don't get caught on, or maybe one more lower. So that they don't get caught on the spawner, right? And for people who have played this game a lot, probably this is old news to them. Um, but I'm kind of rediscovering it. Um, we want like this, and then we need, we want an eight box from this side. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we'll have our trough, and then we can decide where we want to put the, the, uh, the old Zombarinos. Ned Flanders played Minecraft, I guess. That's what he would call them. Uh, and then... Yeah, 
I don't remember how far away they can spawn, but um, this is where the the doorway lands. Um, we don't want it to go <laughs> too much farther this way. Um, now that I think about it, this is kind of inconvenient that it comes out right here. It'd be better if it was a little further off. Oh well. Uh, dismantle all of this gubbins. Oops. Not mean to do that. Now I'll have more fences than a man could ever want. That, that, the amount that a man could ever want is zero. Um, so, yeah. Basically, if you have any... Um, I do not... Uh, you have any, you know, you have more than you need. <laughs> um, Leocraft022 uh, asks if I have any mods on, and I do not. This is straight up vanilla. Um, so, uh, kind of, kind of old school. Uh, yeah. Um, let's see here. So, yeah, so we want it, I think, just too tall. Um, I think we're going to drop it down one more, actually. Um, so that way, uh, because the, when the zombies are swimming in the water, they'll, they'll pop up almost a whole block. that can uh, be problematic but uh, no I haven't um, to that I haven't really explored mods very much uh, in Minecraft um, I did play around a long time ago with like a visual shaders mod um, just to kind of make the lighting uh, happier um, but no I kind of really just love the uh, the default experience if you will This and through here, yeah. So we're gonna have water streams that go eight blocks, right? All the way to here, um, and then it will go drop them down into a two by two hole here. Um, oh, so this has to be, I think it has to be eight or nine blocks wide, right? For this to work because we need a stream going this way and a stream going this way um and going into a little doorway but then we'll whisk them i don't know probably like somewhere over here right um so then we can go into like a room over here and just hang out and let the zombie spawn and go afk and then uh um, really, uh, kill them all. I think squish them to death is probably my plan. Oh, and I lost, uh, I, I did. Time to build a slow pickaxe. Boomer. Okay. Um. And you know what I should do here? Just let me just explore this mine shaft very quickly to see if we have any old deposits. No. Is that it? I thought this branched off into many different directions. goes into the, here well, where's the rest of the I I am confused now I may have sealed myself off uh, from the rest of it oh here we go here's some coal I'm just gonna start um, I think I want to make this uh, spawner look nice uh, mostly because you all are watching uh, and uh, I mean, it makes for a better video to make a pretty spawner, uh, or pretty XP farm, I should say. Oh god, 
And once you go, once you start using enchantments, it just gets very tedious to not use them. Oh, boy. Uh, I might have to head back over to to the uh, main base and enchant a bunch of pickaxes because this is pretty insufferable. Oh. Do it. But while that happens, I think I'm going to make some smooth stone, and then... Winces. Eternal enemy. Um, well, that was not the smartest thing I could have done in that scenario. <laughs> uh, Alright, here we are. Um... I think there's still a dark patch around here somewhere that's causing zombies to spawn. Just something we want to avoid. Uh -oh. oh, there's some coal right here. Could have just mined that out. Well, now we know. Um, what am I doing? Oh, right. I am making and enchanting a bunch of these guys. There's three. I don't think I'll need more than three. Um, oh. Throw that in there. Uh, down to the enchant. D chamber. I feel like there's a portmanteau there where you can combine enchantment and chamber somehow because it's got that hard ch, but I haven't found it yet. The in chamber. Hmm. Got fortune one. Which could be fun. Maybe I'll just I'll just throw fortune one on there. I won't mine any diamonds with it, but it'll give us more coal and stuff. Efficiency 2 on breaking 2, that is something I'm okay with. And just straight up efficiency 2. Those are all perfectly acceptable. And they should greatly speed up the old process. I wonder if there's a way for me to move this back a ways. Oh, okay, I guess I could have like a, well, it would have to go down though. And now I was gonna think we could do a spiral staircase down underneath and then over uh, and, you know, heading down. Mm. I guess this, we could do like a spiral staircase all the way down and then across. Mm. Food for thought. Okay. Here we are. Um... So this will be... There's a darkened hole right underneath where I want to build my zombie spawner. That could be problematic. Okay. Um. So this will be. I don't know why I'm building this. It should just be one. I'm being. A
Um, three, four. Yeah, that's fine. I think it'll be like this, and then here, and then in one more, and then I think up and over. Um, and that can be like here. Make a little doorway. Um, do a little room. And there is a lot of zombie sounds. Oh, there it is. This mine shaft is kind of a pain. Um, here, and I was gonna do like a uh, mine out all of this. A three by three, or like a I don't know, pretty good sized room, I was thinking. Oh. Yeah. Well, three by three, or like three wide, and then some portion um, more here, and then we can have the. Well, however, we want to kill the zombies, end up. Right here. Or right here, I should say. Um, could drop them. Um, I'll just have to do some research. Uh, see, you know, what, um, uh, how far I need to drop them. Uh, in that case, um, let's hang on for a second. Uh, let me just look up a number really quick here. All right, the consistence or the con consist consensus. Please. Um, the consensus on the internet is twenty-two blocks. We have to make a shaft that goes up. Um, let's see. To level. Oh gosh. Forty fifty-one. Right, 29 plus 22 is 51. Uh, sh should do what we need to do. I make a whole mess of sticks. A bunch of ladders. Aid in this endeavor. And then I'm gonna do something that's stupid and risky. Dig straight up. That's right. I like to live on the edge. Right. Oh yeah.
man, it's gonna suck if I just accidentally tunnel right into the poisonous spider hole. Is that all, all of my, uh, let's see, we've got 38. <laughs> get a bunch more oh I have some, some logs in here Be more than enough Crap. That's the other problem with digging straight up. Luckily, the ladder saved my bacon. Good Jesus, it's gonna take so much work that I will probably do off camera. Um, it's not fun watching someone mine out billions of billions of blocks of gravel. What are we at now? We are at 45. We just need six more blocks. Yeah, sorry, probably doing that is probably uh, very vomit inducing. Uh, uh the old video watcher Sorry about that all right I think we're here all right so this is how high we need it all right now we have to in Areas that aren't there, one of it. <laughs> This goes up, and maybe I won't bother prettying up this tunnel because no one will ever, ever, ever see it. We'll light it up though. Not what I wanted to do. I'm forgetting that you can hold shift and just hang out. Bless America. I don't have to go get more water. Okay. Um. Okay. That hole needs sealed up. All right. Um, so I have to go back up to the surface and get water, but before I do that, I'm going to figure out how we're going to tunnel over to here. We're at 
this right here is 1204 and then over 1 that's right here <laughs> So I have to set it up so that water will flow around this corner. It would be problematic. Um, actually, you know what? Why don't I just push it one one back? Yeah, that's the easy, the the smarter way to do it. And then just have a free fall. Let's see if I can kill myself by doing this. Shall we? Nope. Straight on through. All right. But now, come here and the land, and then it'll, it'll just take a couple of hits to kill him. This is never really that um, robust or. Uh, um, <laughs> good. Uh, or, you know, I could never get it on perfectly down to just, uh, just one hit point. And we have to design this. And I like this because it also doesn't involve uh any redstone which um as uh, we found out last time is an embarrassing thing to troubleshoot whilst on a live stream <clears throat> hmm. wonder if there's if you could if it's worthwhile to build like a passive uh slime farm over here. Hang on, let me take a drink. Ah, there it is. Oh, maybe made my voice worse. Only time will tell. I've kind of got an inner world voice now. For some reason. In a world where chickens are food. One man finds a way to do something Besides eat chickens coming this fall fall in love all over again chicken man 2.0 hmm. <laughs> uh, That's right. I have a bunch of garbage in my inventory that I should have dropped off. Oh, well, let's make an infinite water hole here Weak. and Weak. Uh, well, I am nowhere near ready. What am I doing? Um, let's swap this out. Just get rid of... Oh, I have these chests. Get some temporary storage here. Dump all our stuff that we don't need. It looks like I may have to stop by the old, uh, go back up and stop by the cattle farm at some point. I'll need some wood. Okay. Um, uh, I will lay down to, or I could, uh, profit from the, uh, our, our chicken bounty. Uh, even though it's, you know, not terrifically efficient, I think it will still, uh, get the job done. Okay, so let's do, <clears throat> um, let me layer in all, uh, uh, stone bricks, which are my favorite building block. Um, let's just, want it to, one, two, three, one, two, three. 
So we want the whole thing to go to here. So the wall will be here. And yeah. really, I mean, you know, if you really wanted to like min max Minecraft, it's probably better just to go up to the surface and kill a bunch of monsters. <laughs> Uh, especially now that the way the experience is set up is, uh, you know, the way that it is. Um, uh, but, you know, you only lose at most three experience points per, per go. Which I get is, like, more friendly and forgiving. <laughs> um, but I kind of miss the old hardcore, you know, you, you spend hours and hours uh killing things or i guess you could cook up like an insane amount of cobblestone or something and <laughs> get your 30 levels and then you just totally random chance it on something and it turns out that it's uh you know uh sharpness one or whatever some sort of garbage and thing efficiency three <laughs> Um, yeah, and maybe also I'll do an episode where we do a foray into, uh, that was poor choice on my part. Not what I meant to do. There we go. Okay. Um, maybe we do a foray into the nether, do some nethering. Cause that that could be fun. Uh, yes, that's that's what I wanted. All right, and grab some more and do some more building. Here, that, yes, and I don't know why because this is going to be totally dark and covered, and it is the wrong distance, it needs to go back a block. I don't know where that was. That, oh, that was when I was looking for <laughs> for the witch and the um, wardrobe. No, uh, the zombie. that so now heal this up it reach just to the edge yes that's what we want and then we'll have a full you know full row of all of the water things running this way and the person will go or not the person the zombie the x person if you will um will get dropped off there and then these guys so one will go like that, and then there will be another one here, like that, and they'll meet in the middle and push the zombie into here. Um, and then we'll have a block of water sitting right here, so the zombie will jump uh, out of the water and into the next water and just continue to go all the way up. And we'll have water pushing them across. And they will drop down here, putting them on basically half a heart um all of them except for the ones with armor um 
which we will, I think I'll just make a whole bunch of uh, stone swords. And, and that's how you, you kill them. Oh. I mean, it won't be a bummer because I enjoy doing this stuff, but it would kind of suck if it turned out that um, zombies don't work the way that um, they used to. <laughs> That was smooth. There we go. That. Ooh, there's some gold back there. I already have a ton of gold. It's not really a concern of mine. This. There we go. Well, um, it's been about an hour. Uh, that's usually how long I stream for, and uh, kind of I have another, you know, three or four hours of really not interesting um, spawner building. Uh, so I think I might call it a day uh, for today, and then next time, probably Sunday. We'll see. I, I have Sunday off of work, so um, you might we might see me on Sunday. Um, We'll get uh, the rest of this going, um, and it'll be done by then, and then we can play with it, get some of that uh, fortune and chance on there, and uh, uh, get our diamond on. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.